What are you gonna do today? Now. You've got guts. <laughs> Quit spacing out. Tell me. up. We didn't experience any of the wonders of space, but at least the taste was passable. You seemed much more excited by the toy than the taste anyway. Sh shut up! I saw you eating around those pickle things or whatever they are, Justine! 
That... that wasn't food from this Earth. It was clearly a... alien spawn of some sort. What? Is this true? I see. Well, they didn't taste bad. But seriously, what are they? I ate all of mine, you know. Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. <clears throat> well, at any rate, we've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Here is your reward. You better work just as hard next time. We know about all sorts of locations that would aid your rehabilitation. I'm still taken aback by the truth. Your world is absolutely full of these shop places. That does sound interesting. I believe it may merit further research. Anyways, good work, inmate. Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the Velvet Room. Let's move! Not bad for an inmate. Tell me.
let us return. What are you saying?
What? Excuse me? Shut up! Let us return. True.
to. What was that? Caroline. Absolutely. Sorry about that. Are you joking? Damn it.
Listen up. Joking!
now. Let us return. Ah, you're back.
room, yes? But where is your room? Oh, I would never have guessed. So you prefer cramped, dingy spaces. How fascinating. Please, tell me more about yourself. Oh, I'm sensing some unusual energy around this desk. Your infiltration tools are made here? Could I possibly try my hand at it? Thank you. Let us see what I can do. Now, what should I make? Ah, I know! To show my gratitude for rescuing me, I shall craft for you a secret weapon. I think you'll be rather pleased with it. Hmm, this is trickier than I expected. Oh, uh-oh. Well, I can fix that. Cursed screwdriver, how dare you defy your wielder? Obey me! Drive those screws! Ugh. Oh, screw it! Megiddo! It seems my time out of body has led to my becoming somewhat undexterous. While it pains me to say it, your secret weapon will have to wait. More importantly, I should be using this time to learn more about you. Is this your bed? It's surprisingly similar to the one in your cell. Can you truly rest here? So you can pet it as much as you like whenever you rest? I must say I am a bit jealous. Still, this space seems somewhat cramped for a fully grown human and a feline. May I sit? Optimum firmness. Ideal warmth. I'm not sure why, but... I feel so calm here. You fiend. You'll pay for splitting me in two. Let's see how your holy grail holds up to this sledgehammer. Take that. Huh? It didn't work? Oh, wait. You can't... Uh, no, I'm being split again. Uh! Was I... talking? That's... kind of you to say. It was just so comfortable. Perhaps I allowed myself to relax a little too much. I sense some residual energy here as well. Ah, you use it for training. May I ask for a demonstration? Come on! One, two! One, two! Put your back into it! You think you can save the world like that? One, two! One, two! Two! One, two! One, two! Don't expect me to go easy on you. I'm doing this for your sake. Well done. Such commendable willpower. 
I've enjoyed this first-hand glimpse into your daily life. It was quite illuminating. Before I became whole, I visited many places with you and gained a wealth of new experiences. Thanks to that, I feel like I've come to understand humans better. And perhaps more importantly, I feel like I understand you better. So, thank you. Though you have cast off your shackles, I will still await you in that room. This is a token of my gratitude for today. Please, take it. It would be a shame if I were to leave so soon. May I stay a little longer? <laughs> 